Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 5. Today, we are discussing money. The one stressor during the holidays is money. So we're, we're going to discuss a budget and how to not go over your budget during the holidays. Let's get going. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree tomorrow. I know talking money makes a lot of people uneasy. Honestly, discussing money makes me uneasy. But I figured discussing a budget should be one of my Vlogmas videos because I know for me, my number one stressor during the holidays is money. Actually, my number one stressor always is money. Money, money. So in my planner, I wrote a list of things we do in my house to keep us under budget for the holidays. It's very important to stay under budget during the holidays where we don't go broke. And I think it's uh, more important for us to stay in the budget because there's so many, there's so many of us, like I know in my family, the adult straw names where we are not buying for every adult, but we have so many nieces and nephews, it's crazy. Like right now, we're under our budget, which is yay, awesome. But we're also not even done Christmas shopping. We have just begun Christmas shopping. And I think we're going to go this weekend to Christmas shop a little bit more. I know one of the things I bought my niece, she already has. So that was money down the drain. I usually don't ask my brother or my sister if their kids has something because if the kids ask for it, I know they don't have it. And I just assumed she didn't have it. My bad. But that was money down the drain. The first way, the first way we stay under budget during the holiday season is we have two kids, is we do Lil Way. I never did Lil Way until I got with my husband and when he brought it up the first year we were together, I was like, that is a great idea because there are both of our boys' birthdays in October. So we usually hardly never ask for a Christmas list. The big items on their birthday list, we usually put them on Lelway and they can get the big items for Christmas. And that's the only stuff we put on Lelway is the big items where we are not, you know, like $200 here, $200 here, $100 here. Like it's on Lelway, we'll get the total like this year we did on their big gifts, we set a budget. We said, hold on, let's forget about that. Right. <coughs> Anyways, we set a budget, we set a limit, and we stuck to it. And then we took the weeks that were left that you could have your stuff on the way, we divided it in, into how many weeks, and then we knew how much we had to pay weekly on the low way to get it paid off in time to pull it out. That works perfect for us because we know how much money we can set aside weekly to pay off the low way. Tip number two, make a list. I know for me it's very important because there's so many nieces and nephews and so many people we buy for that I don't want to forget someone. So I, what I do, I always make a list of the people I have to buy for. And next to those people, we usually put a price. And we don't go over that price that we want to spend on individuals. I know for our nieces and nephews, we spend around the same. That's our goal, to keep it equal, we spend around the same thing on our nieces and nephew, on both sides of the family. Because we like to be fair. Also, that's another reason we draw names for adults because where you have like oh, $30 here, $20 here, you can take all that money you're going to spend on each individual and put it into one big gift that a person really wants. 
that's why we love drawing names for adults because we only have to buy one gift in the family and they can get exactly what they want instead of oh, like a twenty dollar gift, a fifteen dollar gift. Which there's nothing wrong with that, but we just like drawing names where it's I love it. I love it. The other tip is when you make your list, like I said, set a budget. Go down, set a budget, make sure you stick to that budget. When you buy the gift for the person, pull out your list, mark it off, and then put the price you put next to it. And if you're under budget, great. If you're over budget, and then you just can work some prices out, like, you know, give and take here and there. That's what we do. We spend a little more here, and then maybe we'll spend a little less somewhere else, like on decorations or on ourselves or something. That's usually what we do. But once you set a budget, once you set a budget, you should stick to the budget. That's the reason for a budget is for you to stick to it. There's no sense of setting down, making a budget if you're not going to stick to your budget. It's pointless. You should just rip it up, throw it out the window. Honestly. Why well, sit down and make a budget, waste all that time, and you're like, screw it, I'm not going to follow the budget. It's not... It's, it's pointless. Another tip, which is a big one. A lot of people do this and it kills me. It kills me. Don't go into debt for Christmas. Don't. Don't. Christmas is more about spending time together and not about the presents. Yeah, kids love getting presents and everything like that, but I make sure my son knows Christmas isn't just about getting presents. Like this year, he's going to do Christmas cards for the nursing home. He's going to hand them out. We're doing a toy run on the motorcycle. Like it's about giving and spending time together as a family. Why go into debt over something that it's going to last a day? And most of the time, when you buy especially kids something for Christmas come February March the parents are already throwing out that toy unless it's something the kids want and that's another thing we do is we don't buy like a lot of small stuff we get big stuff where we know our kids are going to play with it because if we buy like a bunch of small stuff and go into debt we're just throwing money into the trash can basically because we're just going to throw out those toys in a couple of months. So I would rather spend the money on big gifts than on small gifts because I know the big gifts are going to get played with. And like I said, remember, it's not about the gifts. It's not. It's about the holiday season. It's celebrating Jesus and the birth of Jesus and family time and giving. Like, not presents, but you just have to give your time. Just... Like I said, we're going to the nursing home to hand out Christmas cards. Just that little time we take to hand individual patient a Christmas card means the world to them. And I think everyone should give their time this Christmas season because it's what the season's all about. My husband has fixed the clock. As y'all can tell, it just dinged. The last tip is when you set a budget, don't think you have to go to a certain place to buy that item. Search the internet to find cheaper prices. You know, you can find a lot of stuff on Amazon. One thing we always use is Groupon. I love using Groupon. Search for discount codes for each website. I use a site called Honey. Is it Honey.com? Something like that where it downloads to my search bar and when I go and check out at stores, I hit it, it searches codes for me for me to get money off, plus I get money back. A lot of people use this Ebates too. I don't use Ebates because I don't shop online that much, but always, always search to see if you can find it cheaper. Because even though you think you're getting a good deal on something at one store, you could get it cheaper at another store that's not even near you. And when you search the internet to find the price cheaper, if it's a website that you don't know, 
search the website. I never buy anything from sites that's sketchy. I don't. If I've never heard of them, I, I don't buy from them. But always, always search. Always. Because you never know where you can find the product cheaper. Because I've spent money on something and then a week later, it's cheaper. It's not... It's not fun. It's disappointing when it's like you think you're getting a great price and then in the end you're not. So. But I hope y'all like these holiday tips. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Vlogmas videos. Hit that red button. Hit that bell where you know when I upload a video because I'm going to post bonus videos too. But until tomorrow, bye.